Let me just put these on so you guys take me more seriously. Now I look like I know what I'm talking about. Hey y'all, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. So I'm not gonna waste any time. Let's get straight into it. I got the handy dandy backup phone. Shout out to the Zoes. All right, so are you holding yourself back? So number one, define your confidence. Figure out what confidence even means to you. Know who you are and have a freaking identity. That's, that's, all right, we're, we're, we're at the beginning. We talking right now, me and you, we, we locked in. Figure out what confidence means for you, yourself. So for me, I could think confidence means this, that, and the third, but you think something different. We all have times in our life where we're like, okay, I'm not feeling the best today. It's inevitable, all right? You're gonna have days where you're not feeling your best and that's perfectly fine, okay? We're only human. I paraphrase confidence as being secure in yourself and your own abilities. Okay, bam, boom. So now, once you figure out what confidence is, you understand it. The second part is actually being able to list qualities you believe a confident person possesses. Confidence typically starts from within and then your outward appearance also has an effect on it because when you look good, you feel good. Now, I came to y'all real raw, uncut. I was like, I'm not gonna wear any makeup. I just wanna talk to y'all, you feel me? Person to person, woman to woman, or man to woman. So I would challenge you to write down some qualities and attributes that you either have, wanna have, need to work on. Now we know what confidence is. Number two, you gotta silence the noise. Stop caring so much about what other people think. And I know that's so much easier said than done, y'all. I was the biggest pick me for the longest time. And when I say a pick me, I wasn't like one of them pick me's like, I used to just put other people's happiness and opinions above my own. Or it was even hard for me to make my own opinion because I was so worried about everybody else. And that is not the way to live. That's why having your own identity is so important. Being able to do things by yourself, okay, without worries of judgment can really make a difference. And if you're unable to do that, you definitely are holding yourself back. You have to be able to trust yourself in your own ideas. Stop allowing others to hinder you from reaching your utmost potential. Please, okay, get others out of your mind. I promise you, the way that you think other people are thinking about you, they're not. They're not. Go ahead, do whatever you want to do. And you know what? A lot of the times, when you're trying to tell somebody something, seek validation or assistance or other people's opinions, and you're doing something that they've been wanting to do, okay, they're afraid or they're allowing their own insecurities to project upon you. This could just be the devil, honestly, stopping you from accomplishing your goals. Silence the noise. Don't care about the background, tunnel vision. Focus on what you wanna focus on, focus on your goals, period. All right, so number three, establishing connectedness. Being able to understand others, learning how to hold conversations, becoming approachable when needed, and stopping those who are not a part of God's plan for you from approaching you. All right, hold on, let me preach. Let your light shine. Mm. Did I not say a word? No, because for real, look, Making friends is very difficult. Making good friends is very difficult. And it's even more difficult when you lack confidence. So you need to be able to trust that when you walk into a room and execute in terms of speaking, also looking, but in terms of speaking, like being able to like open your mouth and the right thing comes out, you know, when to say a little jokey joke, when to use the bigger words, being able to do that really can make a difference in the way that your confidence is perceived and projected. But at the same time, when I'm telling y'all talk to people, you know, and don't be afraid, I'm not telling you go up to people and annoy them. No, that's not what we're doing here, okay? Be able to know who you can be around or who you don't like to be around. You need to be able to read a room and also be able to read the people in the room. That, that could be a lot to like process, but just catch my drift. See where I'm going with this. All right, so number four, while we're talking a lot, you know, we're, we're able to hold conversations where having connectedness with other people, you also need to learn how to watch your mouth. Even better, take back control of your mind, okay? Give it to God, all right? Your mind thinks it before your mouth is even able to say it. Throughout undergrad, I was so bad when it came to talking about myself. I would say the worst things about myself and it was just, it was so natural. It was an instinct to just downplay myself 
to just speak negatively about myself. When I tell you I had to pray that off of me, cause uh-uh, cause I literally had other people that would catch it. They would be like, oh my gosh, don't say that. And I'll be like, oh, you really gotta catch yourself. The power of life and death lies in the tongue. I'm preaching, I'm preaching, ain't it? It absolutely does. So watch what you say before you even say it, watch your mind. Stop the devil before he even thinks it could come out your mouth. You feel me? Yeah. You don't want to talk self-doubt, self-hate. When you're speaking negatively of yourself, as I said, other people used to catch it before I did. Imagine how many people caught it, didn't correct me, and then now think they could play in my face. Uh-huh. Y'all joke on yourself or you play yourself before other people even get to play you. You roasting the heck out yourself before the people can even roast you. That's not what we're doing over here, okay? We're exhibiting confidence. Someone that's confident is not talking down on themselves. Once you get that discipline within yourself, others will have no other choice but to do the same. All right, so number five, walk and act with grace. So grace is often associated with the term smooth, relaxed, attractive, but you know, relax, slow down, like enjoy the moment. Don't overthink, right? Trust yourself because you know God got you. Not, you're not trusting in your own abilities. You're trusting in God who is over your abilities. You, when you put all that pressure on yourself to just get it together, so much self-help, and I understand self-help, don't get me wrong. In order to execute, you, you it's work within yourself. But when you put all that work and pressure onto you, it just makes it more difficult. Give it to God. One of my favorite Bible verses, ah, Philippians 4.13, trust in the Lord with all your heart. If, I hope you finished it. If you didn't, leading me right into my next point, number six, you know I got to add a sprinkle of Jesus. Pray on it and pray through it. Have a little chat with Jesus. It never hurts. It never hurts to pray, y'all. It's not going to hinder you at all. And once you understand God will do it, you'll be able to have that own confidence and trust within yourself. Believe he can do it and it's done. Have faith. All right. So number seven, Walk with your head held high and your chest up. Walk into every room like you were sent there and make it your goal to always leave a lasting impression. And remember, this is really my list to like check myself and see, okay, am I acting with confidence? So let me give y'all an example. Let me give y'all an example. Okay, so while you may have it all together, like you can be the baddest chick, okay? on the inside we can't always tell from the outside i'm just i'm just the messenger okay baby you could have all y'all know how people be like wow she has so much confidence just matter of fact people don't even speak they just look they just look because they don't know what else to do i don't want to say an intimidation but it's something it's something that kind of just causes people to sit back and think so how people perceive you can have an effect on your confidence. Once again, can, everyone is different. Sounds kind of like the opposite of point number two, but I'm talking from the outside looking in and how it can stop you from reaching your max potential, okay? Please put the phone down, make eye contact, okay? Look look people so in their eye. I'm not telling you to stare people in the face or nothing. Don't make it awkward. I don't know, you have to, you'll figure it out with time, honey. But let me show you guys what I mean, okay? So for example, so this is one person. Hey, how are you? All right, that's, that's one person walking into the room. Let me, let me show you another person walking into the room. All right, phone to the side. Matter of fact, phone in the purse. All right. Hey, what's up y'all? How you doing? <laughs> I don't know if that was a good example, but you get the point, put the phone down. Everywhere you go, your phone does not need to be in your hand. And then you're glued. Put it, it's an obsession. No, it is an obsession. So you need to chill. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to leave that there. So number eight, upkeeping your physical appearance. If you can change it, change it. Discipline yourself and be honest with yourself, okay? While you can't control what other people think, you can have some type of control on how you're perceived if you look the part. Think of someone that looks confident to you. All right, think of someone that looks confident. All right, if you're not picturing yourself, that's okay. While it can be a red flag, I promise it's okay. That just means, I see it more as a yellow flag. Like you can see other people and be like, wow, they're confident or good looking. Get back to the picture. Now, think of yourself. 
as that confident, good looking person. Now think how often you look like this confident, good looking person. Is it all the time? Is it a special occasion? Is it when you have time? Is it if you put a bunch of effort into your look? Da 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 da. When I say this, I'm also speaking to myself, okay? How can we how can we work on this, y'all? How can we work on looking like that good looking person, confident all the time? How can we work on that? Me, 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 we. We meaning you and me. Matter of fact, do us a favor and comment some more things that we can do to look up to par everywhere we go. Please and thank you. All right, so number nine, learn how to embrace it. Remember, this number eight, I was talking about things you can fix. Number nine, I'm talking about things you really can't fix or just can't fix at the moment, right? You may not have the money. You may not, you may not just be able to fix it. Like me, I'm tall. It took me a while to embrace my tall. Con and I'm not even that tall. I'm 5'9". It took me a while to be like, I did not, I used to not like being tall. But once I learned how to embrace it, honey, you can't tell me nothing, baby. I'm a stallion. <laughs> what you may believe is a flaw, I promise you, someone else is begging for. So be thankful and grateful. Once you learn to be grateful for everything, even if you don't see it as something to be grateful for, it'll really help you embrace it. Number 10, if all else fails, fake it if you make it. It is, it is what it is, okay? Sometimes you just gotta walk the walk until you're able to talk the talk too. Consistency is key. Build confident habits to the point where it really does become a part of your identity. So with time, as you're walking, behaving like this person that you believe is confident, I promise you, you will begin to become that confident person. Once you start praying to become more confident, you're just gonna see things changing. I'm telling you, like, it's it's really crazy. It's really crazy. Yeah, that's it, y'all. I wanted to keep it nice and short. Right, and if you watch this video all the way to this point, which you did, because oh, how you hearing me right now? How you hearing me unless you skip through? What, which, And why would you do that? Watch this video all the way to the end. It is only right to make sure that you stay in the loop of this series. Go ahead and subscribe. Please leave some comments on other things that you think that we can do as a whole to become more confident. Join me in this journey of becoming our best selves. I promise you'll love you here, y'all. Thank you for watching. And as always, God bless. Period. Peace. Keep them busy, got it.